optional here, guys. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. Well, one of the things every player is after is the efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Boss is out there with Ball, and it's Bridges in at the three spot. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? That's a, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, oof, Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game because I think Giannis is trending in that direction, and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics, having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Oh, he'd be brilliant. And, and yeah. Kemba, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. Here's Boss. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Richardson. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. For Charlotte, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. All free throws, good from Boss. And a minute played as the second half gets going. On the wing, Doncic. Richardson right side. They get it back. Has to finish Smith. Beyond the arc. He goes up again. And the nice bucket inside from Richardson. Richardson's got 13. Neither side has relented a bit in this back-and-forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Here's Boss. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. You know, when you drive the lane, you have to know where Porzingis is because with his reach, he can sneak up and send that shot away anytime. And Doncic was part of a draft day trade that so far seems to have worked out pretty well for both teams. That's exactly right. Doncic, Greg, was selected by Atlanta with the third pick. He was then quickly shipped to Dallas for the fifth overall pick, which turned into Trey Young, plus a future pick. Neither of these young men wasted any time putting their stamp on the NBA. I do think their futures will always be discussed in connection with the other. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Boss, in that last matchup against the Rockets, delivered quite a performance. He had 15 points, and his passing was just incredible. He piled up an impressive number of assists. Another fantastic showing in what has been a great stretch of basketball for him. Kevin, we'll see if he can keep it going tonight. Yeah, David in stretches, he was absolutely dumb. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. Well, this team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. And the Hornets call time here. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. Yeah, he's just torching them right now. A good decision to huddle up, kind of hit the reset button, and figure out how to slow his roll. Rozier, he's checked in for the Hornets. Then for the Mavericks, now he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Hardaway is subbed in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Back to Rozier. Zeller inside. Headed by Porzingis. Shot by Zeller, no good. Here's Doncic, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And Charlotte called for the foul. Feeds it to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. Doncic outside, Hardaway passes to Marjanic to end the run, not a piece of it. And here comes the break, here's Washington, and then Washington with the dunk. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one.